it's scary because your body says, let's go, let's go, and your heart says, no. <laughs> Patrick Holland battling congestive heart failure and put on the active transplant list three weeks ago. I can't wait for the day to where I get the transplant and I can enjoy life again. Last Thursday evening, he got the call from UW Heart Institute that a heart for him was becoming available. With a rush of emotions from sad for the person who's losing their life to scared. And I moved on to from scary to excited at the possibility of getting 10, 20 years, maybe even 30 years. Holland says doctors in Seattle gave him an eight hour window to get to the hospital and he booked the next flight. We weren't expecting it not so soon. When he got to the Fairbanks airport, his overnight flight was canceled. Alaska Airlines heard his story and put him on the next one. But after four hours in the air, an unexpected announcement. And I heard the pilot say, welcome to Anchorage. The flight had to be rerouted because of the ice storm, grounding all flights to and from SeaTac. And after three canceled flights in Anchorage, the window for a new heart closed. I think I cried more <sighs> that day than I have in my life and had exerted every emotion that I've never had to get out of that funk, I immediately said, thank God there's going to be a family that saving someone's dad, saving someone's brother, saving someone's someone's uncle. You know, I just. Holland is a father of seven. His children ages three to 36. A big family. It is. I came from a big family. So I always told my wife that I would like to have 10 kids. And she said, uh, maybe if you get the new heart. And for them, he's hopeful. I've had an amazing 17 years with the wife. And, and my kids and to be able to watch the next two graduate would be just phenomenal. I mean, it'd be a miracle, really. Tell the truth, it's a, it'd be a miracle. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.